first look at MIUI 12.6 based on Android 11 by OOF Yang running on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And guess what? We have MIUI 12.6 based on Android 11 with security patch as August 2021 and Genos kernel, which means you can root your device and then set specific thermal profiles. And this, of course, is a build by OOF gang running like a boss on the POCO F. One. So this is how the build comes out of the box now when you install it You might have a live wallpaper activated do note live wallpapers are heavy and you might see some slow animations So I do recommend that you either change your thermal profile or switch to a static wallpaper Which is what I have done right now and let us have a look at the power menu BAM the new power menu in the building looks super cool super great then let us have a look at the volume panel here it is you do have the new volume panel as well and of course you can slide to set a timer for your dnds and for your no notifications and you also have a pretty cool looking toast animation as well the android 11 easter egg works without any issues do note they have not implemented bubbles from xiaomi so that is something which you can blame on xiaomi then we can have a look at the control center bam here it is data usage present swipe down brightness slider is now stuck at the bottom and works without any issues swipe to either side you can switch between your notifications and the control center without any issues then your smart devices cat controls all of those things are going to show up over here now the super disappointing thing is you cannot swipe this because xiaomi did not care to implement the easter egg well enough next up since this is miui launcher the animations are good unlike poco launcher press and hold on the empty space go into settings you can of course customize the home screen super important thing to note over here if you're looking for gestures that option has now been moved to the home screen settings go into system navigation here it is you can choose between buttons and gestures hide your full screen indicator as well next up you can also change the minus one screen whether you want application vault or do you want the google discover feed then you have double tap to lock the screen on the empty space you have your icon customization hiding the app icons arranging items in recents horizontally or vertically so all those customizations are present here it is you do have your recents and guess what floating windows in the building bam here it is press on any application it should open it in a floating window as you can see working without any issues and you can also drag and drop it here in the corner and now it will be a small useless window on your home screen but yes floating windows is working without any issues next up let us check if double tap to sleep works on the empty space yep there it is working double tap to wake also working without any issues animations great super great then we can head over to settings and have a look at the other customizations which you get so Moving over to wallpapers and personalization, here it is. This is your preview of the home screen and your lock screen. AOD, tap over here, nothing is going to happen, but don't worry, we'll cover it later in the video. This option is to change your lock screen layout and you can also add lock screen owner information as well. This here is for your icon size customization. Here it is. Using this slider, you can change the icon sizes and you can change the icon style as well. You do have four themes baked in out of the box. Go into wallpaper, tap on super wallpaper more. Bam, here it is. You do have six super wallpapers available for your visual pleasure and if you do not like the super wallpapers you can always use the static wallpapers as well then you have customization for your ringtones you do get the new windows style card ui similarly for notifications you do have the special sounds as well and the same applies for alarm wherein you have weather alarm nature alarm 
all those fancy options by Xiaomi. Go into themes and then you can go into my themes. Here is the options to change between the four different themes which are baked in out of the box. Then we can jump over to always on display and lock screen. Yep, always on display is present. You can customize the items which you want to see and you can also change the style in case you want to. Let us go back to our wallpapers and personalization and use a super light wallpaper because that is what looks super cool. So let us use the snowy peaks one, apply this and always on display is enabled. Turn the screen off, bam, there it is. AOD working like a boss, of course. Do expect some excessive battery drain with AOD, there it is. Animations are so, so smooth. Anyways, next up, we can go back to the AOD option. You can, of course, change your notification effect for the light up screen and stuff. And then your lock screen settings are there. Do note, these are lock screen settings. So yes, raise to wake is working. Double tap to wake on the lock screen is also working. Double tap to sleep on the lock screen is also working. Then you have a toggle for power menu access and Lock screen clock format we already covered, side panel shortcuts, so yes, whatever side panel shortcuts you see on the left and right on your lock screen can be customized in this build. And yes, you have three different charging animations as well, all of them working without any issues. Next up, we have sound and vibration. So of course, we already discussed about the notification ringtone and alarm and the new nature based themes are the sounds which you get then you have sliders for all your volumes yes you do have sound assistant and you do have per app volume control as well so if you're playing some youtube video and you try to change the volume you will see a small floating circle on the left that is your per app volume then you have your do not disturb scheduling your do not disturb option is there profile video for incoming calls yep that is also there additional settings you do have a bunch of toggles and herein you can disable your screenshot sound finally you have your audio at startup go into sound effects you can customize your headphones which are connected and your me sound and answer along with the equalizer moving over to notifications and control center you can choose apps and notifications so you can choose per app notifications from here then whether you want the MIUI style notification shade or the Android style notification shade along with a toggle for weather information, notification effect, something which we already covered in the previous section. You can change your control center style as well. We are using the new style and if you're left-handed, you can switch the control center side as well. Then those of you who want to use the Easter egg, once you enable it, make sure you choose it over here in your smart home as well. And any other smart devices which you have connected will show up over here. Of course, you can enable them or access them from your control center. Then what all items want to be shown on the lock screen after swiping down and if you go into status bar here and you can customize the different icons which you see on your status bar do you want your network traffic indicators or not you can customize your battery indicator also and if you go into hide notch you have only two options and blame xiaomi and me ui for removing the third option so you have either hide the notch or don't hide it you do not have the option of using the notch area for your status bar icons and you can also configure the notch in individual applications as well next option here is home screen but we already covered all the options of that then you have password and security yes you have your screen lock ir face unlock is present and fingerprint also works without any issues next up you have privacy protection so yes you do get the new privacy protection features wherein you have your awareness and you also have the protection section here and you have your network interception the do not track a private space all the fancy features which should be rolling out in global builds but were never rolled out all those features are present over here then you have the battery section so again battery saver is present along with the ultra battery saver you do have the fancy graphs as well and if you go into battery it will tell you the temperature 
how many times have you charged the automated tasks can be scheduled as well along with the schedule power on and off if you go into apps unfortunately you do not have the option of removing your system applications but you do have system app settings you can manage your apps wherein you can install and uninstall apps dual apps is present now do note with android 11 they will give you a notification about the dual app only being able to access the data for that specific dual app and yes app lock is also there and all these features are working without any issues moving over to the additional settings you can of course change your region and go into gesture shortcuts there it is three finger screenshot present partial screenshot present turn on torch present let us check out the three finger screenshot bam there it is screenshot taken without any issues partial screenshot three fingers press and hold there it is you can either use a square shape a circle or feel free to draw your own random shape and you should be good to go once you're done tap on save saved successfully without any issues then you have screen time again the new screen time your dashboard and you can see the daily graphs the weekly graphs you also have focus mode in case you want to stay away from your phone 30 60 90 do not like those numbers custom duration can be added anywhere between 20 to 180 minutes then we have special features here then you have game turbo video toolbox floating windows second space miui lab and light mode and before you ask me what is the game turbo which is available over here let us open the magisk app because this is the one which i want to boost but here it is where it is there it is yep game turbo 4.0 in the building this is your me ui 13 game turbo with the english ui and while we are talking about game turbo we can also check what is the style of floating windows which you get there it is the new floating windows is also present record screenshot and play video with screen turned off so this should help with your youtube videos with the screen turned off while we are in the gallery application do note this is the new gallery application and you have a recommended section wherein you can create a collage video editor if you go into settings and once you're in settings you do have your selecting the best photos and memories go into secure sharing here and you can share your pictures without the metadata of location and the other private stuff which is stored in your pictures then the files application this is also the new version of the files application there it is you can see recent and storage sections are there and yes animations are smooth no doubt about that next up with respect to the camera app which is baked in here it is this is how the camera app looks like and these are the features which you get with this camera application we can of course go into the settings you do get the new themed ui as well and you can of course add your own watermark smart suggestions dirty lens notifications all those things are present and guess what the gcam which i personally recommend also works fine on this without any issues and of course you do get the new weather application as well with respect to safety net safety net passes out of the box do note that the device is not rooted right now i have only installed the magisk app to check for safety net there it is safety net is passing without any issues we can also head over to the google play store and here and we can check if the device is certified or not so there it is play protect certification device is certified which means your banking apps should be working without any issues next up in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium live caption has not been implemented by xiaomi in android 11 and yes you do get the small floating bar on the left which you can use to control the per app volume for your youtube media playback with respect to the animations we have already seen a lot of the animations and they are pretty smooth but we can also check out the different gestures which are present to see if there is any 
lag in the ui when you try to access your gestures so here it is let us open the recents go into settings bam everything is smooth no jitters no lags nothing like that everything is absolutely fine and tell me tell me honestly is this something which poco india can do yes do they choose to do it no we get developers who work in their free time giving us these awesome builds so yes those are the true poco fans and the true developers for us unlike xiaomi and poco india who have already abandoned this great device and there it is peeps that was our first look at miui 12.6 based on android 11 running like a boss and of course the port is from oof gang so shout out hats off to them for the hard work they put in and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you